Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Edwin back again for Strictly Comics. And I got this week's pull list. That's right, I got this week's pull list for Friday. Oh, the reason is because Wednesday, I didn't get out of work until like 9.30 at night. Didn't get home till probably a little after 10. So by then my comic shop was, they, they were already closed, so... I was like, you know what? I got a busy day Thursday. I'm not going to be able to do this till like Friday. So, got my stuff. Came home. Ate. Now I'm doing a pull list for you guys real quick. Because I want to show off what my wife allowed me to get. And what we got this week for this week's pull list. And I can't wait to get into it. One thing I will say is I'm... Glad I didn't spend nowhere near as much as I had been over the past few weeks because of Villains Month. Villains Month has taken quite the toll financially. Um, I don't encourage anybody to spend that much money on comic books. Unless, uh, you know, obviously unless it's something that uh, isn't going to depreciate. Unless it's, uh, you know, old, older, maybe Silver Age, Bronze Age, so on and so forth, so... That being said, let's get into it because I don't want to have a long video. Alright. <laughs> I'm just being silly, guys. <laughs> uh, in no particular order, I have all new X-Men, number 17, Battle of the Atom. What part is this? Chapter 6. Battle of the Atom, Chapter 6. Very good story so far. Very much enjoying that. Next, everybody, I got Black Acre, Number 11. I encourage people to buy it if you're not already. I think it's a pretty solid read. I'm enjoying it. And I hope they continue with it because it's uh, kind of interesting. It's got, you know, some cultic stuff in it. Kind of weird. Not big into that, especially being a Christian. But it's it's actually not a bad read. Next, I got Detective Comics number 24. And this is a story with uh, Wrath. Is it Wrath? Or, yeah, with Wrath in it. Um, I actually like this villain. I think he's a, he's a pretty solid villain. He appears to be somewhat of a threat. To Batman so far, but we'll see. You know, bad guys always lose. They never, <laughs> they're, they're, they're hardly ever successful, but you know, that's what comics is all about. It's all about the good prevailing against the evil. Speaking of which, Forever Evil number two. This is a really good cover. I really like this cover. Again, the quality of the paper covers that DC is putting out right now top notch I'm very happy to spend my money when I feel like I'm getting my money's worth next I got He-Man Masters of the Universe number six this is a good story you guys it started out kind of slow it's, it's picking up speed a little bit it's called sibling rivalry because as we know He-Man and this is uh, uh, She-Ra but I don't think that she really knows yet who she is. Uh, I think at the end of the last issue, she found out that she was um, Adam's sister. So it's going to be interesting to see how this turns out. Because I, I actually like the story. It is picking up a little bit. I'm kind of glad that they started out like this a little bit. Because if they would have just like He-Man and Skeletor, it would have been the same as Optimus Prime and Megatron. You know, Spider-Man, Dr. Octopus, or, you know, uh, who else? Um, <clears throat> you know, X-Men and Magneto. You know, you just have that very common opposite to the main character. And they made her evil, which was different. I never recall her being evil. Um, you know, growing up watching the cartoons... You know, she was always a good person. You know, never was she ever evil at all. So this was kind of a different twist to start out the story, get people into it, reading it, which I like. And I'm actually pretty much enjoying 
the title. Next, I got all new X-Men special number one. I uh, didn't really want to pick this up, but I had told my comic book shop a couple days ago to put it in my box because it was new. It was a special. It was a one shot. Wanted to see how Dr. Octopus kind of tied in this whole thing. But after watching reviews, I found that it kind of sucked along with another one that I'm going to show you guys. And I'm really not happy about that because, you know, you spend a lot of money on comics. You want it to be good. I think what I'm going to start doing now is watching reviews on these specials first, tie-ins as well. Excuse me, you guys. And if it's not that good, I'm just not going to, you know. I listen to y'all's reviews. I really do. Because it helps me determine whether or not I really want to buy something. And especially those who I feel have a similar opinion about titles that have a similar opinion about titles like I do. So, I do listen to you guys. Don't think that I don't. Uh, next, I got Bushido, The Way of the Warrior. Didn't really know about this. Didn't really have any intentions on getting it. The only reason why I got it is it's a number one. My wife is kind of into anime, ninja stuff a little bit, and I thought that maybe she would enjoy reading it as well. I'm definitely going to read it because it's only a five-issue limited series. And, you know, it looks like it might be a good read. We'll see. Again, I'm just judging the book by its cover, which is not always good. Next, I got Lazarus number four. Very, very good storyline right now, you guys. If you're not reading it, you should definitely pick this up by image comics it's you know only four issues in so you could probably easily get the first three on ebay or whatever very very good story so far it's kind of interesting because in the last issue these two you realize that they had a history with each other growing up as kids they liked each other but it had been like i don't know like eight or nine years later since i last saw each other and they really didn't want to separate from each other toward the end of the issue. So it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out and upcoming issues as well. <clears throat> and next I got Spawn 236. Now, it's supposed to be an origin about the costume. I think the last issue that I read or the issue before that, it wasn't very satisfying. It didn't really talk almost hardly at all about the costume. And growing up a Todd McFarlane fan and watching Image first come on the scene in the comic book world, I really want Spawn to be successful again. I really, really do. But with Todd McFarlane not doing the artwork and only doing the cover art, the story being, eh, I just don't see how this is going to be successful, especially like how it used to be. I think that right now Todd McFarlane is really stretched thin with all the stuff that he's doing. I really wish, now he is the editor and the writer still of Spawn, but I really wish that he would focus and put a lot of focus towards Spawn, the title, and, and, and you know, at least once a year, do, do the art throughout the whole comic, at least once a year. I will buy Spawn based on the, the art alone if Todd McFarlane were to do it, but he's not, so I'm getting these covers, and he didn't even do this cover, but lately I was buying the covers because Todd McFarlane does still do the covers, but I really want Spawn to be successful. I really want the story to be good. And so far it's just, eh, it's okay. I mean, to be honest with you, I'll probably give it this issue maybe one more. And if it doesn't blow my socks off, I'll probably quit buying it. I just don't want to stop buying it for another 20 years. But we'll see. And then I got, you guys, I got Marvel Knights Spider-Man, number one. Really didn't want to pick this up, especially after I saw Comic Book Corner's review on it. 
after I saw it, I really wanted to just take it out of my box and go put it back on the shelf, but I didn't because I asked them to put it into my box, and they did. And I'm going to read it, you know, I'm going to give, you know, formulate my opinion about the book. But everybody's saying stay away from the book, and I already told the guy that I wanted it before I even watched any reviews on it. So now I felt kind of obligated to buy it. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. And then last, you guys, I got this right here. Didn't really, don't really pick up stuff like this. I saw that it was the first time that these were for sale to the public because normally you couldn't get this box set unless you were at a comic convention. And I really hope one day to get Scott Snyder and Greg Capello to sign this. That's really the only reason why I bought it. It has a graphic novel, the volume one of Batman, the new 52, but I already have that. <coughs> so now I have another copy. I'm not going to open this. It's going to stay sealed until I have an opportunity to get Scott Snyder or Greg Capello or both to sign this. There's really no point in me opening it since I already have the volume one in the back there. Maybe you could see, see through his eye. You see like a, now you can't see it, <laughs> but you got to look in through the eye and you can see the, 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 the book in the back. But so until that happens and only God knows when, if that would ever happen for me, it's going to stay sealed. And that's pretty much it you guys thank you so much for watching i do want to let everybody know that because i'm really getting busy i'm probably only going to do pull lists now mickey may have some time in the future she might do some reviews on her own we'll see but for now at least for maybe the next few weeks i'm just going to be doing a pull list video I just really don't have a whole lot of time. I have time to read, but to set up and shoot and edit and render and upload and all that stuff, I uh, don't really have a whole lot of time to do that, you guys. Not right now. As bad as I want to, especially from being inspired and encouraged from watching all these other YouTube videos, you don't know how bad I really want to do comic reviews. But I'm really not able to. And then when I do have a little bit of time, I'm just so tired. I really just want to recuperate and rest. So I withhold until I have a more extensive amount of time, free time, to do these. But we'll see what Mickey does. I think that she'll probably do some things in the very near future. We'll see. Depends on how she feels and if she has the time, which I think she might have in the future. I don't know. We'll see. But that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, whatever. As always, keep God first in your life. Enjoy your comic books, though. And God bless you guys. I'm out of here.